Hi guys. Um, it's been a really long time since uh, I've done one of these, so please forgive me if I make mistakes or anything. I feel a little rusty, but you know, um, I've been a little busy. Sorry to keep you all waiting on these tutorials, even though I've been promising them for the last month or so. But uh, hey, let's uh, let's get on with this one. Um, today's tutorial is um, Beauty from Starship. And uh, it's a little complicated in terms of the rhythm and, well, I guess the riff, the riff, per se. Um, it's, the riff is this thing. Um, so I know it's going to be a little hard for you beginners to get it fully right. Um, so, you know, you don't even have to do that. You can just do like... slow build up of it. So um yeah you can do that or whatever. Um I'm I'm not gonna really explain it that well, so sorry. Just bear with me. Like I'll try my best. Um anyway, uh it starts with a D chord, obviously enough. Um So the best way to explain that is it's just your strumming hand moves up and down rather fast, you know. Just stay with a steady beat. The important thing is just to keep it moving, you know. And not pay so much attention to that, more so the what your fretting hands or fretting fingers are doing. Basically you want to do this. I'll slow it down a lot so that you can all see. So you see that's all we start by hammering on on the second fret, then removing it, putting it back on again, a little strum here and there, and then a hammer on to the third fret, and then we hammer on to the second fret. Now when we hammer on to the third fret, we also pull off, so it's like a... That's what we get. Alright? repeats a bunch, a whole bunch of times. So remember, just keep your hand moving real fast. Real steady, I mean. <laughs> um. Alright, um, so basically, uh, that's how it starts. That's the intro riff, or however many bars. That's up to you. Um, and then, the verse starts on the same chord, except, you know, muted, you know, up to you, really, actually. Just, just, you know, it makes it easier for you to sing like that, and just keep it on the D for, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so that's eight beats of that. Uh, keep in mind, I don't know the lyrics, so, I mean, I'll try humming it, uh, that's as best as I can do. So you do eight beats of that. And we go to an E minor 7. And now I know if some of you have asked me to, you know, further elaborate on these chords, but I feel like if you're going to be learning these songs, then you should be somewhat familiar with the chord structure of most of these. Especially like, you know, these, those you learn at, at the beginning. Um, if you need further help, like a good website, justinguitar.com, that guy's real good with all that stuff. Um, but it also, I mean, I tab him out in some earlier videos too. So, you know, take a look at those and maybe like write them down and see how much you can learn. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah, E minor 7. Um, I'll do just this one and that's it. Uh, so it's, you know, open E, second fret, uh, second fret, that's your, uh, thing, excuse me, index and middle finger on the second fret, and then you put your, that, that's open, the G string is open, and your ring and pinky finger are on the third fret, okay, of the B and E string, respectively. That's two, two beats for that, then two beats for G, back to the 
riff. And then do that again. Eight beats of that, eight two beats of E minor, two beats of G. Okay? Uh, it's gonna be on the bottom anyway, so you can just follow along. You know, put the lyrics and chords and stuff. Um, then he does goes to this I like to call this part B, I guess. Na 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 So that's two beats of E minor, two beats of C add nine, then the riff, then E minor, G. So that's two two. So after two of E minor and two of G, go to a regular C chord. Two beats, and then this A7 right here gets five strums down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we go to a D chord, and these are all this is the chorus right here. So you do D, D over an F sharp. I'll tab that one out. F sharp, so that's your index finger on the second fret of the E string. Mute the A string with the bottom of that, then keep the D string open and you put your middle finger on the what is that, second fret of the G string and your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. Use the bottom part of that B string, uh, excuse me, ring finger to mute the E string. So that's one beat per chord for this course. So after that D over F sharp we go to an E minor and then to an A on beat each. Two, three, four. Repeat. One, two, three, four. Then we have a bass line going down. B minor, A, G, F sharp, or D over F sharp. Then E minor to C. All right. So that's all basically one beat. Focus on the bass line. A, G. G over F sharp. See how the bass line is going down? To an E minor. Then we go to a C. And those last two chords get two beats each, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. So that's the riff again. So yeah, you basically just apply the same chords to the second verse. And you know, he does variation of it somewhat. You can look that up on a video that he did. I think the YouTube channel name is One Wing Wing Productions or something like that. I'll post it in the video below. Uh, description, I mean. Um, so, yeah, let's see. The third time he does E minor to C, or E minor. You can't deny, na, 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 na. Goes to G, and then he goes to a C, you know, when he does that. So he does that same, like, C to A7, the same strumming, except this time, he, instead of going to the D for the chorus, he goes to a bridge, and that starts on a B flat major 